Good morning, guys. Um, before I do a new lesson, I thought uh, Nick asked this question. I thought I'd just take it up with you just so you see another example. All right, so semiconductors such as silicon are used to fabricate solar cells. Solar cells, like on my roof. <laughs> These cells are typically coated with a thin transparent film to reduce reflection, so it's an anti reflective coating, okay, and increase the efficiency of the conversion of solar energy to electrical energy. Calculate the minimum thickness of the film required to produce the least reflection of light with a wavelength of 500. Oh, I think that that is supposed to be times 10 to the negative 7, like that number there. That's not right. Uh, that's not a visible wavelength. Like, that's very long wavelength. I, I would say that that would actually be in the microwave range. So that's probably supposed to be 550 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Guessing, okay, there. But anyway, that seems wrong to me. Uh, when a thin coating of silicon, okay, that would put it right in the middle of the visible spectrum, by the way. Silicon oxide is placed on, on a wafer of silicon, N equals 3.5. All right, so here's the deal, okay? You've got a thin coating of transparent silicon, okay, where the index of refraction is N equal to 0.5. We are looking for the least reflection. The least reflection is destructive interference okay so we're looking for destructive interference with a wavelength of 550 nanometers all right so step one we draw our three boundaries the top one is air then there's the 1.45 thin film okay that's the silicon and then on the bottom here or silicon oxide or whatever it is here, I guess I'll, I'll write it like this, silicon oxide, and then here on the bottom, 3.50, that's just silicon, okay, like that. Uh, here comes your incident light. The top ray will definitely be inverted, and the bottom one is also inverted, so that's step one. So that means they have the same phase. Okay? So they're both crests or both troughs when they bounce off each other. So that means they start out in step. Okay? Now, case two. Uh, step two. Step two, uh, the wavelength in the medium is going to equal 550 nanometers divided by 1.45. So this is, of course, that's the thickness of the film. This one is our medium. That's where the thin film is. Okay, so I take on my calculator and I just go 550 divided by 1.45. I get 379.31 nanometers. Okay, and then step three. Okay, so I'm looking for destructive interference. They start out in step, so I need to shift them by at least half a wavelength. Okay, so when the path difference between those two rays is equal to twice the thickness, which it always is, if that's equal to half of a wavelength, I will get destructive interference. That's case, that's case one, okay, for destructive interference. Now, there are other cases. If I go three halves of a wavelength, but it has to be odd multiples of a half of a wavelength, okay? One half, three halves, five halves, seven halves, and so on. Because they start out in step, we need to make them out of step to get destructive interference. So therefore, the thickness will equal one quarter of the wavelength. So that's one quarter of 379.31. And we always use the wavelength in the medium. We have to do that. So divided by four, I get 94.83 nanometers. Now, that's assuming that they were in error here because, I mean, solar panels work on visible light. They don't work on radio waves very well, okay, so if at all. So we're, we need a visible wavelength. That should be 550 nanometers is right in the middle of the visible spectrum. So they must mean that, I'm assuming. If it's not the case, then it will be this multiplied by 100, okay, so it would have to be 9,483 nanometers. That's at a very, it's not even a thin film anymore. So anyway, there's your answer. 
Uh, is that all they want? The minimum thickness, yeah. Now we could find other thicknesses, like we could do case two, if the path difference was equal to 2t equals three halves of a wavelength, but what you would find is this is the smallest one. And so we can ignore that one. All right, so that's it for this one, guys. That's how you do a typical uh, thin film, in this case, anti-reflective coating problem. All right.